welcome to the Passenger Seat Podcast, a podcast designed to fill your passenger seat with chat about classic cars, all recorded from my 1968 Morris Minor Peggy. I'm Becca, and today I'm going to be telling you about a big life update, career change thing that has ended up coming my way. Uh, So you might remember earlier on in the season, uh, I got to start my job with the RREC uh, as an events manager. And unfortunately, uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, I found out that the role was up for redundancy and then that the redundancy was going through. And so I currently find myself unemployed. Uh, But it's left me in this weird little situation uh, where I don't necessarily have a secure job to fall back on and it's meant that I can perhaps take a little bit of a risk uh, and try out some things and I know that I am super fortunate to be able to do that Um, and there was absolutely a a moment of panic and kind of looking into uh, what my options were and I did spend a lot of time reaching out to places to see if there was kind of a regular job of some description that I could go into because I think that is often the first thought when you get put in uh, this sort of situation. But after talking to some people and uh, some close friends and things like that, uh, the idea of working for myself, uh, doing some freelance work and stuff like that uh, sounded like a really good opportunity to share my skill set with as many kind of car clubs and automotive businesses as I can Uh, because if you know me you know that I am super passionate about car clubs and about the automotive movement and making sure that it is going to go forward that it has got the skills and ability to carry on for as long as possible and so I was like well I can do lots of things that a lot of car clubs don't necessarily have the skill set for or have the people that are able to volunteer. It's really tricky and I've talked about this before but um, when a lot of car clubs were set up there was kind of the more free time for people to be able to volunteer for car clubs and whilst it's definitely something that I have done a lot of myself it's not something that is an option for all young people and for um, everybody to be able to slot in alongside their lives. Uh, I think it's over I think it's underestimated how many young people end up doing I guess what are called side hustles So they do their job, but then they will do loads of other things on the side to try and kind of maybe earn a little bit more money, uh, try out some new things. And um, that doesn't always leave them with a lot of free time to be able to take up what are often big roles within uh, car clubs. But also, they often have some skill set that isn't necessarily uh, as readily available within some of the older generation but don't necessarily have the time to be able to volunteer that time forward but also what I think is sometimes underestimated is the amount of work it takes to be able to uh, do some of the little jobs uh, that car clubs think are little jobs Uh, doing things like social media events and uh, promotions and PR and all of that stuff is way more involved than I think it used to be um, if those things existed previously. Some of them are obviously relatively new developments. Uh, but also, not only are they more way more involved, some of them are kind of new things that seem like little jobs but actually to do them well and to get what uh, a car club or an automotive business want out of them there is an element of it needs much more time (laughs) 
And so having spoken to a few people, having kind of looked into my options, I thought, well, why not be that person for lots of places and kind of make it so that if that's what they need, they can purchase it uh, and they can buy that in if that is uh, what they're looking for and what their car club or their business needs to reach a new audience, to uh, get interest from uh, people to keep the car mark going or to keep the interest in those marks going or to bring in new enthusiasm, all of that stuff. And because I have the experience and, and skill set. So what I am launching today is uh, the Passenger Seat Profiles and Promotions. Uh, and what this is, is uh, a kind of freelance menu for car clubs and automotive businesses to kind of look through and pick and mix what it is that they need to improve their future for uh, their members uh, and for potential members. So it might be that they're really struggling with social media or they need uh, somebody to kind of step up and run that social media in a way that is going to be more effective for getting their name of their car club out there. So that's something that they can uh, hire me for. Uh, they can hire me for events. They can hire me for uh, press releases or anything that's going to get the name of the club out there like the like the name suggests uh anything profiles anything that's going to promote the club i've got uh, events on there i've got any c stands on there all things that i have been very fortunate to have a go at and to be passionate about doing well and making sure that they get the most out of uh, the opportunity that is presented uh, when it's there and I think can be something that is really useful to a broad range of car clubs who are out there looking for these sorts of things. So there'll be lots of little things that I have to get set up over the coming weeks uh, and months but at the moment the website is now live so uh, you can find that at passengerseatpromo.com and that has an idea of the sorts of things that can be offered as well as uh, explains the fact that basically if you can think of something, let me know uh, and we can definitely look into whether that's something that I can facilitate or I can at least point you in the direction of someone who can facilitate it. And I'm really hoping that this could be something that starts kind of a bit of a movement um, within car clubs to being a little bit more effective at promoting themselves uh, and getting themselves out there because regardless of the mark of car that you have it isn't always synonymous to buy a car and then join the car club like it was maybe 30 40 years ago because car clubs don't always offer the exact same thing that they did 30 40 years ago you aren't joining a car club because it's the only place you can get spares a lot of the time now. You aren't joining a car club because it's going to be the only source of knowledge a lot of the time now. So selling what it is that car clubs do offer, I think is something that car clubs are going to have to get lots better at. And I'm really hoping that this will be a way that we can start doing that. Uh, because I think they're a fantastic thing. I am so passionate about uh, car clubs and automotive businesses that help facilitate the ownership and enjoyment of cars because not only are they uh, a great resource for the ownership of cars but often you can meet your lifelong friends, uh, you can find uh, people who are so like-minded and it's just a, a really special culture that grows up around these bits of, of metal and rubber and vinyl. And I think looking forward, I'm really hopeful that uh, this will be a good opportunity 
uh, that I have managed to kind of build out of a little bit of a tricky situation. And uh, I'd really appreciate if you are interested or if you know of a car club that might be interested, you uh, sharing this around because it obviously is quite tricky to get these sorts of things set up and it has been a really busy last week or so uh, trying to get something sorted and together uh, and checking the viability of it and, and seeing where we can go with this. But I'm really excited about it and I am quite hopeful uh, that you guys will be as well. I'm hoping it will also mean that I have a bit more flexibility to do some interesting stuff with the podcast. Obviously, at the moment, I'm now doing a podcast about this because I haven't had a chance to go out and do anything exciting. Um, But there are some guests that I'm really keen to get on the podcast And I'm hoping being able to have a little bit more flexibility means I will be able to share those people with yourselves. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, And hence why we are sat on the driveway today, because I've not gone anywhere uh, that much this week. Well, actually, I tell you a lie. I went on (laughs) on a little trip yesterday with my dad and a friend of his to pick up a car for the friend of his um, because I wanted to get out of the house Uh, but other than that it has been lots of hard work on getting this set up Um, but I hope that you are looking forward to seeing where this goes uh, and seeing what sort of things it might bring up for myself and the podcast Um, but also uh, hopefully making a bit of a difference to uh, the automotive world and addressing some of the challenges that I think car clubs have started to come across and uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I think I've said that a lot already um, but I think it's it's one of those things where like I said at the beginning I don't think I'd have ever been brave enough uh, to step back out of a job if I was in a job that I was enjoying Uh, and was kind of keeping me going and stuff like that to try something new like this and instead I'm really excited that this could work out for the better. So that's that's where what I've been up to. I've also been reading uh, a book that I've been meaning to get around to for ages uh, which is uh, by James Rupert who was the guest speaker at the Singer Owners Club that's a fantastic book so whilst the podcast is short this week I would recommend going and reading that because I've been really enjoying it and uh, hopefully uh, if you want to have a different perspective on uh, I think it's the the decline of the British car industry and our part in it uh, then you can check that out and it's a very different perspective to what I kind of already had about the downfall of the British car industry. And if you are a Morris Minor fan like myself, uh, hopefully you will find it uh, enjoyable because they do come up a lot, not necessarily always favourably, but they are mentioned frequently. But that's kind of what's been going on with myself and Peggy. Like I said last week, we are at Rustable this weekend, so that's been really exciting. And I believe I have got uh, a Women Driver Social Club meet. I'm going to be on the stage so you can come along uh, and listen to me talking about podcasting uh, with uh, Car Chum Podcast, I think it is, uh, and Danny Hopkins. So that should be fantastic. And it's always such a brilliant event. So even if you haven't got tickets to be an exhibitor and stuff like that, you can come along to the museum and uh, enjoy the fantastic display in the car park. I know the team, uh, Ian, Carly, Steph, uh, Matt uh, from Furious Driving have all been working so hard on it. And so uh, it's going to be another fantastic one. And also really looking forward to uh, seeing everybody there uh, again, like we did uh, back in March, so long ago. So that is kind of my update. Thank you ever so much for listening. Watch this space. I thank you all so much for uh, any support that you're able to give. And uh, 
drive safely and happy motoring.